Buffalo, 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 Buffalo. Now, before you ask me what am I up to, let me first tell you that the sentence that I just said is grammatically correct, and it satisfies all the rules of the English language. Shocked? Don't believe me? Stay right there for the next few minutes, and I promise that you will dream of buffaloes tonight. First of all, this sentence was created by William J. Rappaport, an associate professor at the State University of New York, also called as the University at Buffalo. Let us bring back the sentence on the screen. Okay, this sentence has three buffaloes. I mean, three types of buffaloes or buffalo, used as three different types or whatever. The first buffalo is buffalo. Okay, I'll stop kidding now. The number one buffalo is a noun. This buffalo refers to the city of Buffalo in the U.S. The second buffalo is the everyday buffalo, also known as the bison. The third one is rather difficult, or I'd say uncommon. The third word is a verb. It means to bully, to intimidate, or to confuse. For example, you could say, "I was buffaloed by my seniors at school," or, "The math teacher totally buffaloed me." Now that we have a toolkit, let us attempt to understand the sentence. I will add some punctuation for your convenience. Let us concentrate on the first bit. This means that the bison, or the buffalo from the city of Buffalo, for our convenience, let me denote the city of Buffalo with an A, the bison buffalo with a B, and the verb buffalo with a C. So, in this chunk, the first buffalo is of type A. And the next one is of type B. Here are the labelings for the next chunk. This chunk means that the bison from the city of Buffalo intimidates. Here is the final chunk with the labelings. This chunk means intimidates the bison from the city of Buffalo's. Combining all chunks, we have the bison from the city of Buffalo that are bullied by bison's from the same city. Are themselves bullied by the bison's living in that city, or in other words, buffalo, 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 buffalo. Now I'm sure that you're totally buffaloed at this moment. It took some time for me as well to understand the sentence, so I have provided the Wikipedia link below. Go check that out and watch the, this video once again. One last fact: philosopher Thomas Chimchok. I'm sure I'm mispronouncing the name. Anyways, he claims that this buffalo sentence is not very special. Yes, he claims that it isn't isn't very special. According to him, you can have any amount of consecutive buffaloes in the sentence, and the sentence would still be grammatically correct. The shortest expression being buffalo. Amazing, isn't it? I'll leave you with that. Thanks for watching.